Unlocking the new era, the future of the Indian travel industry was reimagined at the recently held Arabian travel market in Dubai. The Indian domestic market was at about 1.75 billion. That was the numbers we were talking about. And now the way it is going, we all expect it to cross the 2 billion mark. That's what basically will happen at the moment. Outbound from India, well, if some of the pundits say that it should cross about 40 million, because before 2019, it was about 30 million. Big challenge for all of us is that you can't get seats anywhere. You go to any plane, you go, go on a train, you want to go into a hotel, there are no rooms available. Coming out of the pandemic, I mean, we have the demand, we have the willingness to go out, and revenge travel definitely is still a thing. But this will not last forever, and I think the second the revenge travel piece will become less and less, people will become more selective again. They will become more price conscious. We are an economy which has the consumer base. Mm -hmm. So we can practically consume any kind of product today in the world, whether it is an economic product, a budget product, or a super luxury product. India is a market for one and all. With all the macroeconomic you know, indicators are indicating that today, India is going to lead the way that the global economy will be driven. When you look at the globe kind of situation, what is your take on the Indian market? Where do you think so is going? What's going to really happen? The stronger the economy, the stronger and more constant the economic development, the more wealth creation. And as a result, people want to travel. People get international passports. People you know, don't want to only travel regionally and locally. They want to get out of the country. We see a strong demand from India into Indian customers, into Europe. And, you know, we know Indians love discounts, they love luxury products. Where does this money suddenly come from and why are, they, why are they traveling like this? Like revenge is one part of it, but paying this kind of fares, which, which are money which Indians never paid, what's happening? Where's this change coming from? This money was always there. It was always growing, but it's now being spent through an official digital platform. So people don't mind paying because they want to consume a lot of this money comes through corporate spending. You know, when I say corporate spending, I don't just say corporate, large corporates. Every hotel chain has set up a global sales office. 60 tourism boards are in India. The, today, even the, who had, I had not even imagined in my life that there'll be a company like, a, like his coming to India and targeting Indian customers and setting a base in India. Mm -hmm. it, is, it was unheard of. Yeah, so, so this is a cultural shift is, 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 has taken place. Mm -hmm.